Hello, or in my case, good morning. I'm out early this morning because the neighbor's dogs tend to bark when they get let out, and they're great big German shepherds, and they really are loud. So I'm trying to wake up enough to talk to you about these jigs. Now, in a previous video, I showed this jig, and I showed it being used. And it was being used up against the belt sander, the wheel of the belt sander, holding a brace and being run across the belt sander like this. Okay, and that was great for, for doing the brace. Okay, now the fact that that's being used on the top as well as the back, and this is that 15 foot radius, means that the top is arched quite a bit. And what that also means is that a bridge blank has to be contoured to meet it. Okay, so what I do is I use the same basic jig except I have a different setup here. Flip it around because it's the inverse. Now I have the same curve the other direction. Okay, it doesn't look like the same direction because it's you know parallel here, but it is. And I have another jig that allows me to run at that angle and I have conveniently threaded the purple heart on this particular piece. This is all purple heart by the way in terms of the jigs. One one thing that's nice about purple heart and, and there are other hardwoods that work very well this way too so you can thread the, the wood, it's very hard and quite cohesive. And you can thread it and use rather large headed bolts for hold downs. So now, having put my bridge blank in place. This happens to be mine ebony, if anyone cares. And now this bridge blank is held in place and I'll be able to do the same thing I did with the brace except in the opposite shaping to give me matching arch in the bottom of the bridge. I do that first before I do any other shaping on the bridge because I need it to be a rectangle to be held in this particular jig. Now I do a kind of a strange thing on, on my bridges where I also arch the front of the bridge. Now why? Well, I think it looks nice. I don't know what the acoustic pr properties of, of this might be. I don't really care. Um, it's not the shape of, of the bridge that matters to me. It's the weight of it. And so I also made this jig to create that particular arch. Now this arch is quite a bit larger than, than this. I can still use this if I want to do that same, same arch, but this particular arch requires a different jig than this. I don't happen to have that right with me to show you, but it does give a stronger arch to the front. Okay. 
So that's a little bit more on this particular jig and what I use it for.